Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! You know what I forgot to show? The message board! Yeah, before I finish chapter 4 I'd like to show this. I'm on my backup save file here just so I can show this like since I can't leave town at the moment, you know, in uh, uh, Twilight Town. Strange rumors of Twilighters being turned into pigs. Scary news, folks. What's on the back? Graffiti Corner. I like the dark space behind this message board. Maybe I'll hang out here more often. Darkly. <laughs> We're back to the main save file, but I am a shadow of my former self. <laughs> anyway, let's go back over to the creepy steeple and see if we can find something that'll help us. Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. I would have done this back in town, but that wouldn't have looked very good, would it? Oh, no! <laughs> so, this is the one who stole your name and body. Hmm, he looks sort of familiar to me. Come on! <laughs> All right, can the chatter. Here's the deal. You get your chance, then I stomp you. If you guess my real name, then you get your body and name back. Fire away, no name. Again, you cannot guess its name because you don't have a letter to be able to do so. Oops. M-A-R-I... Oh, let's try that for size. Let's see if that does anything funny. I don't think it will, though. Nope. Doesn't matter what you put in there. Wrong, I'm on the little nobody. Who'd name their kid that? Prepare for doom, slick. And don't even think about running from battle here. No running! <laughs> so yeah, you can't do anything again in this battle, so you can run if you'd like, uh, since it's pretty much a pointless battle. But at the same time, it's not all that pointless, because you can freely practice your moves if you would like to, because, you know, it's a rather safe environment to do so. That is the Shade Fist. As you can tell, I, I can't do any damage to it because everyone is invulnerable to everyone else. And yeah, whoa! Oh no, you don't! Ah, bad audience member. I refuse to have ones like you in there. Arr. Anyway, I'm going to demonstrate the Veil now. Just press the buttons you see on the screen from left to right, and you'll skip a turn, which makes you completely invulnerable. Which, which pulls, but, ah. I was a little bit late there, which puts both you and your partner underneath, but it'll skip Vivian's next turn. Uh, but anyway, that's her attacks. So let's run away! I know you said no running, but neither side is getting anywhere. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's no fun. He must have been hiding there in ambush, waiting for you to show up. Well, forget him. Let's go get your name back. Okie dokie. Oh, no! By the way, a thing I keep forgetting to mention about Vivian here, uh, since I'll be able to say it along the way on T Twilight Trail here, uh, is that she is actually a he in other versions. Yeah, Vivian is a transgendered character, but this reference is removed from certain regions of the game, like the one I'm playing here, the uh, North American version. I'm guessing the reason why they did that is because of cultural taboos, because, you know, like, there's some taboos in cult- oh! culture that influence the the way things are portrayed and whatnot it's uh, I just wanted to get out of the way <laughs> it's uh it's a really stupid uh, social norm but then again a lot of social norms are stupid but yeah <laughs> social norms as irrational as they can be they can influence this sort of stuff which is why I think I mean which is the reason why I think they did that uh, aha no battles today. Oh no, I've still got one to dodge on the way back. That cleft, well the clefts aren't all that all that bad to dodge. Um, I'm not all that much of a, of a fan of going back and forth between the creepy steeple and the uh, Twilight Town, and you have to do that quite a bit in this chapter, but this chapter is really, really fun overall. So I, I can let that little blemish slide. <laughs> anyway, uh, don't go back into the steeple, go back down here. Well, technically this is in the steeple, but it's a different path into the steeple. Remember that I said that there's a different path over here? Well, there is. But as you can tell, this is like, it's it's caged. You can't, like, get past this door. I mean, you can push it all the way to here, but you don't get any further, and it'll just keep sliding back like that. You can, you just stand in one place like that, it'll stop immediately when it touches you. So how do you get past such, a, such an obstacle? Phase out of existence! Oh yes, and this leads you to a new path through the creepy steeple, through a secret route, which leads to the thing we're looking for. 
Shine Sprite! Well, that's one of the things I'm looking for. Uh, there's a save block there. I'm not going to use it because, you know, in case of recording failures or whatnot, there's not... There's no danger coming up anyway, so it's, there's no real worry about anything whatsoever on your way to the spot. Over here is a star piece. You can't see it behind the, the, the space in between the windows here, but it's there. Just feel around there. Um, over here, you're going to see there's a hole. Remember that door down there is the locked door that we just couldn't get through? There. Sneak through the hole in roly-poly form. We're in! Good morning! Good morning! Pretty bird! Pretty bird! Shine yet! Shine yet! <laughs> Reference to Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, got anything else to say? I'm kind of curious about this. Mm, no, I guess not. Okay, let's open the spoils in this secret room. There's a Power Plus badge here, which increases the Mario uh, Mario's jumping at hammer attacks by one. It's another one of those kinds of balancer badges if you, you know, rebalance stats and whatnot. Um, well, actually, maybe it's a little more powerful since it increases defense. Uh, in here is a steeple key which opens the door to actually this room. I don't even know why they say some room. It's the, the key you need to get out of here. <laughs> and in here is the small letter P. Yes! Yes! I have fixed my broken keyboard! <laughs> well, anyway, uh, this isn't... I mean, we still don't know the name of the thing that we need to know the, the, the name of the thing, but there is a star piece over here, but... I wonder, do you think this parrot might know something? Maybe it does. Hide? What? What happened to those widows who are just here? Ah, oh, whatever. It was almost nice to have some company. I mean, no matter how important it is that no one knows his real name, locking me up here just because I know it, and making me guard the name stupid missing letter. No way to treat a parrot. You're a terrible guard. I have the letter. I really want a cracker. Dupless, you're a big meanie. When is feeding time, huh? We know his name now. Yes! Write that down, by the way. It's case sensitive as well, so capital D, the rest small. Bloop! Haha! -ha. We heard you! A uh, uh, pretty bird! Pretty bird! Nice cover up! Ha <laughs> Um, if you do that again. I know I'm terrible, the stupid parrot babble act. It's so demeaning! And guarding this dumb letter here, I should report that duplice to the proper authorities. Unless it gives me a cracker. <laughs> so yeah, if, if you ever forget the name, uh, you can always come back here and hear it from him again. So okay. If you write it down, you won't have to worry about that whatsoever. Alright. So, we've got it. <laughs> we heard that. We heard you, little birdie. Duplus, that's his name. Now let's get your name. And body back from that meanie. And we'll teach him a lesson or two while we're at it. Back to Twilight Town! Dang backtracking. Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. Boy, this seems familiar, doesn't it? Hey, Slick, time to cancel your magazine subscriptions. Cause you're getting erased. <laughs> but first, please amuse me with one more guess. It really gives me joy to watch you squirm in futility as you try to guess my name. So, hit me one more time. Insert another song reference here. <laughs> so... I know it this time. I have the letter P. Time to face your maker! Dupless! Yes, please. <laughs> what? Look at his face. <laughs> what did you just say? It can't be. No 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 I'm feeling faint. And he's gone. And he's back and gone again. <laughs> now it's our turn. Let's get your name and body back. Where would he go to hide? Hmm. 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 How about back over here at the creepy steeple? Way up at the tower. Yeah, that's where you where you should go. I'm gonna save my game there because I'd like to uh, demonstrate something in this upcoming thing and I'd like to make sure that I'm at my absolute best as well as have like a checkpoint of sorts in case things go south, I guess you could say. 
So anyway, let's go back up to the playroom. And you just seen Flip Vivian twitch off the edge there. Hey, you again, East Slick. You're pretty stubborn to follow me all the way here. Fine. Fine. I see. I get it. Let's just put an end to this, shall we? Alright, kids. Put on your fighting gloves. Uh, woohoo! It's a me! Oh, sure thing, Mario! I'm right there with you! This creep couldn't take us on his own, so he teamed up with a Shadow Siren. Well, we certainly won't be letting him do anything to our little Mario. You're gonna taste the pain, Gonzalez-style, Shadow Guy! <laughs> They're very good, my loyal ones. How dare this nameless nobody challenge, <clears throat> challenge the great Mario! Mario? The guy who stole your name and body is... Mario? That means you're Mario? Um, um... Well, well, yeah, actually. I can't believe it! All this time I was helping Mario. I feel like an idiot. What's going on here? Fight with your girlfriend? Well, don't expect any sympathy from us, ghoulies. <laughs> See? Your friends ditch you because you don't have the charisma of me. Super Mario! <clears throat> Gotta get that voice right. <clears throat> I mean, no, not, I, I'm Mario. Woohoo! So, here we are. In a battle. Versus pretty much yourself. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's an, oh, it's a mushroom. Shoot, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, so, basically, here's what I'd like to demonstrate in this battle. I'd like to defeat all the partners, if at all possible. So, let's wipe those suckers out. Yeah! <laughs> I know they're innocent and all, but come on now. It's going to be fun. <laughs> Moldy bonk! No! Stop it! <laughs> and after, Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Well, that's fine. It's fine. I can, I can deal with that. After a certain amount of turns happen, something will ha ah, something will happen. I'm I'm sorry, sis. This Mario's the only person who's ever been kind to me. She's back, Mario. I'm fighting by your side from now on. Woo! I I've made my choice, and I'm not turning back. All right, we got our partner back, and now I'm gonna demonstrate a new star power known as Power Lift, because I'd really like to start blitzing uh, my, or I should say, his partners, because they can do damage relatively quickly, and I would also like to prevent myself from taking too much damage here. So, anyway, the, how this works is you prep. It's like a shooter. You gotta shoot the ups while avoiding the poison mushrooms. Move the cursor with the control stick, A button to shoot, don't hit the poison, don't hit the poison. Rawr. It's pretty easy to avoid the poison, actually. Oh yeah! And it, li bo it literally boosts you and your partner's attack at the same time, so it's like a faster version of charge. But since it uses three star points, it's not exactly something that you can use. Anyway, let's start Ta attacking Goombella with the Shade Fist, and it's going to burn her, because that the Shade Fist has the power of fire. So she's gonna start taking damage as well, and I am so happy that I get, whoop, that I increased my defense there just in case of mishaps like I just had there. So let's just keep attacking normally here, just to save my resources, I guess you could say. And she's down for the count. Mario, I totally failed you. Uh, um. uh, okay, let's start attacking Dupless now. Our doppelganger, yeah, Dupless. I'm I'm pretty sure is a play on. Uh, the word doppelganger, you know, dupe, dop. That's that's my best guess on things. Uh oh, oh, power shell. Yeah, your uh, partners quite literally have the attacks that you have them powered up with. Anyway, uh, so I I guess when you increase their uh, powers, you know, with Merly, you can actually make this battle more difficult. Um, if you want to, you can just simply attack Duplass until it's gone, and then you'll win the battle automatically. Because the partners get worse and worse and more and more difficult as you go, as because you know they get more and more powerful attacks. And as you can tell, you can actually flip Koops over like a regular Koopa. As I said before, it's got the properties of a Koopa. So yeah. Oh, oh I almost clicked the wrong button there. By reflex. I had my finger over the A button. 
Aw, oh, Mario. Sorry. Koops is down. Uh. Yeah, I want to defeat all the partners because this is pretty funny. <laughs> I know they don't deserve it. But it's funny. Ah! I got bosom in my face. <laughs> oh no, my, my... No! My stats went back. Boobers! I must start get power lift back. Um... Well, I guess I'll, I'll be able to get it back just by attacking normally. It shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, I have a, a decent amount of HP to hold things together after all. X! Yeah! Burn! Burn! I keep messing up on her stylish. <laughs> oh, bosom attack! Ah! <laughs> Boop! Alright. Jump on the bosoms! Failed stylish. Can I at least get her stylish somewhere around here? And she's there. We go. Nope, not gonna happen. Bosoms. <laughs> All right, we got three star points now. So let's do another power lift. Love this move. It's so much fun to do. It's like it's like a it's like playing a mini game in the middle of battle. <laughs> something that you would see in like Mario Party or something like that. By the way, you can also like choose the ones that you want to lift because you know you can just pick the attack ups because obviously you can't get them all in one run. So you can choose the save time by going after the ones that you're aiming for. So it's a rather strategic move to use, actually. All right, Shade Fist. Maximum power! Arrgh! Okay, it could be more powerful if, if I charge up. Dang it! <laughs> I'll get her stylish down. Don't you wait. I mean, don't you worry. <laughs> oh no! Crazy Daisy! How could you? <laughs> All right. Normal jump. Arrgh! And she's done. Mario, dear, forgive me. Uh, <laughs> I think he's getting a little nauseated. I think he can tell it's an uphill battle. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep chipping away at uh, Duplus's HP there. Oh, Gonzalez, you can't lose to these guys. Last partner. I'm gonna have to show going down. Uh oh. It's gonna do ground pound. Oh, yeah. That's how it's done. Yeah, you quite literally have to learn how to guard against your own attacks. Well, I wouldn't say you have to learn it. I mean, there's enough leeway in the game's mechanics for you to, um, uh, you know, miss some, uh, miss some guards. Oh! Now that's handy, since I was messing around a lot. Because, as you can tell, I could have defeated Dupless by now. But since I just want to demonstrate, you know, defeating all the partners, I've been uh, burning a lot of HP here. Woo! And Yoster is almost down! Ah! If only it knew how to do stylish moves and had star points, it would be much more threatening. Ha 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 Can't touch this. Well, you kind of touched it, but didn't do any damage. Alright, Yoster is almost down. Remember, they have the same HP as they had when you power them up, so... That, you know, they started out in max. Gonzalez, avenge me! <laughs> uh, and now he's in trouble. <laughs> so let's just start attacking normally here. And finish this battle once and for all. I keep forgetting the stylish move. Timing, dang it. Uh, how dare you try and do this to the great Super Mario? Uh, how, how dare you? Gotta get the accent right. Uh, yeah, you can never be the Mario. Uh, what's gonna be thrown to me? A can! Not a can! No! Bad can! Alright, let's... Let's... Charge up! And finish this with style. Uh, wait, what's going on? What's, who's gonna shoot? Oh, card shell! Yay! <laughs> I didn't even know... What was being thrown there? There's too many audience members. It's like, where's Waldo with audience members? Oh yeah, I don't have that badge equipped because 
Yeah, the badger's equipped for the partners, and it's equipped to the other Mario, right? Yeah, the charge partner badge isn't... Yeah, all poopers. Fine, I'll just attack normally. <laughs> it still does a decent amount of damage. Ah! Must do stylish. Must win battle with flair. Because we are, after all, putting on the show. <laughs> And it's over! Gonzalez style! No! Why? How? Oh! Bloop. <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah! Huh? We got our body back! And our name! Woo! Get him! Rats! You killjoys! I, I said get him! Oh, just let him get away. Would you? Oh, forget it. What? He ran away. I mean, wait, just what the heck is going on here? That wasn't the real Mario? Did we get shell winked? <laughs> How could I ever mistake my dear Mario for another? Oh, silly flurry. Yeah, they're back up and healthy again, by the way. So, who's this girl, huh? Is she the one of the shadow sirens you guys mentioned? Why would Gonzalez pair up one, with one of those creeps? Oh, well, I, uh... Oh, yeah. oh, Mario, thanks for sticking up for me. Well, thanks to her, I guess you we, you came through this okay. No sweat, right? Yuppers! Um, listen, Mario, sorry about earlier. I'd be happy to travel with you. If you'll have me. Yay! This is for you. Now we've got the star. Woo! I hope. <laughs> I got Art Attack. A new move which I'll show off later. Did the chapter really end this time? Did it? Did it? Oh, I hope so! <laughs> Mario defeated the rogue who has stolen his name and appearance. Now Mario has four crystal stars. That leaves a mere three more to find. And that means his quest to collect all the crystal stars is more than half over. Now Mar Mario heads off towards his next adventure with his new friend Vivian. But what about Beldum and Marilyn? And what became of the doppelganger Duplus? Vivian is so very late. Where has that scatterbrain been all this time? Ooh! Uh-oh! 